here at the African Energy Summit. I'm with Matali Makuka of Copperbelt Energy. Matali, before we start, tell me about the company and what you do. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Copperbelt Energy is uh, a listed utility in Zambia uh, with operations uh, across sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, at the moment, we've got operations in uh, three countries. Uh, to start with, uh, we transmit and distribute power in Zambia. Uh, we also own a distribution asset uh, in Nigeria, which uh, supplies and distributes power to four states across uh, Abuja, the federal capital. Uh, we also own a 600 megawatt uh, hydro plant in, uh, in Nigeria called the Shiroro uh, Hydro. So uh, we are essentially a utility playing across the value chain in the energy sector. I mean, working across different countries must bring different challenges. What are some of the challenges you face in these countries? Uh, as you uh, might understand, power in general in Africa has uh, historically been a political issue, and uh, therefore liberalization of it is something that is uh, quite new. Uh, a few countries have done it and uh, we've seen uh, others uh, following. So the big issue that we see at the moment is the fact that uh, the current uh, end-user tariffs are not uh, suboptimal. They are not cost-reflective and uh, they are affordability issues as well as uh, sub challenges from uh, the various governments. I think that is uh, uh, part of the challenges we, we have at the moment and also I think uh, the quality of the investments in this sector is underpinned by the quality of uh, the regulation itself. Uh, and most of these regulations, because they are quite new, uh, they haven't been tested, uh, there are challenges in operationalizing them uh, across the, the, the continent in the different uh, countries. So those are some of the immediate challenges that we have and uh, we're working to see how we can uh, help unlock uh, the opportunity that uh, is there. Well, it seems like you're doing very well. I mean, are you confident that Africa will overcome these uh, issues? I think there are no two ways about it. Uh, maybe I'm too optimistic. Uh, I think there are a few examples, as I said. If you look at countries in East Africa, uh, Kenya to be in particular, where you find uh, a lot more IPPs that are successful, uh, they, they've made it uh, partly because uh, you had to go through the challenges to realize what problems you have and find solutions. Now we have seen a second wave of privatizations uh, of these utilities uh, across the continent. I think Nigeria was probably the next one. Uh, we have seen Ghana is going through the same reforms. So from that perspective, uh, we can see that uh, most of these uh, countries, there is uh, political will. Uh, from a policy perspective to make things happen. There's a limit to what the governments uh, can do in terms of uh, subsidizing the, the various sectors. And uh, we also have seen that there are a lot more private sector players with interest and with the right capital to make these investments. They can only do so if uh, the investments make economic and financial sense. So from that perspective, I think that uh, it will come right. It's just a matter of time. Some countries will be ahead and others will be following behind. There's certainly a lot going on and there's a lot going on here at the event. Tell us about uh, your decision to come here. This is quite an important part of your, your promotion, I believe. Yeah, the, we, we find the AEF to be a very good conference. It's, uh, we've been attending it for the past few years. And uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's a good event for us because it brings all the players together. You know, you have financiers, EPC contractors, governments. Uh, it's not just the forums, uh, discussion forums and the topics that are there, but it's also the side meetings uh, which we have on the various projects that, uh, that we are working on. Uh, uh, progressing to, to financial close or the issues that we have to on the various assets. So from that perspective, it helps us to achieve a one-off objective which we have each year in that we have everyone in the room and we tick off the boxes on the issues that we want to close out. Fantastic. Thank you very much for talking to us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.